What's going on everyone? This is Miguel of Retro Basement and I want to talk about this I don't want to say final episode of Dragon Ball Super because we all know the movie's coming out December 14th that supposedly will get a simultaneous release. But, man, episode 131 of Dragon Ball Super, man. <laughs> if one, I, saw, I didn't see what was coming in 130 with the return. I know Frieza was going to come back with all the rumors that were swirling. But Android 17, man, they built him up. He's never, <laughs> he's never been this built up. It, well, he was in Dragon Ball Z doing an Android saga, but man, did he get built up in this new show? 17, Android 17 was the main attraction here. And let me tell you why. The episode starts off, you know, with Frieza basically saving Goku's ass again. It's like, it's Frieza to the rescue. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, what's going on here? Frieza keeps saving Goku. Uh, I never in a million years thought, you know, I would see this. But when you have your own life at stake, self-preservation kicks into gear here. Even though Frieza's still a piece of shit because he still won't stop his evil ways. But I do love Frieza in regards to his character, his sarcasticness and things like that. I think he's an awesome character to have around. And if he went good or anti-hero or something in regards to Frieza, who would Kakarot have to fight later? Frieza keeps things interesting. So it's good to have him around. But I did not know that the angels, I should have figured that they could restore life instantaneously because that's what happened with Wish. Beerus has told him to restore Frieza's life and bam, Frieza's back. But man, this episode was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was excellent. I thought the writers did an impeccable job basically writing the wrongs that they did with their previous writing. There's still some plot holes, but this helps everything. It cleared up a lot of inconsistencies and concerns that I had for the future of Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Super Plus or whatever they're going to call this next iteration of Dragon Ball. I know a Dragon Ball Super movie is coming, like I said in the beginning of this rant or whatever you want to call it, this video. But it's been a very interesting journey to get here. I didn't think they would win, even with all three of them. But they banded together for a common cause. Even when Jiren was able to power himself back up, I thought once he was able to do that, like, man, it's over. Jiren's going to knock all three of them out of the ring. But no, they found their inner strength, banded together, and stopped Jiren. Because Jiren was going to make, let's face it, probably a selfish wish. And I didn't expect number 17 to make the wish that he did to bring all the universes back. So does bringing all the universes back, they didn't clear this up and maybe I missed something. But does bringing it back, all of them back, mean even the ones that ceased to exist before? Like the Earth and Universe 11, or not Universe 11, the Earth and Universe whatever, where the Earth ceased to exist there, where... Beerus' brother is, and they bought that back. I thought that was pretty unselfish of Beerus to do that. And Beerus' brother is just very selfish, man. Even when they bought him back, I'm not going to say thank you. Man, swallow your pride and say thank you. Because nobody owes you anything in life. Even though this is an animated show, no one owes you anything. And I think that's what this teaches to some extent. But also shows and teaches about selfishness. And Jiren is kind of selfish. He's still like, oh, no one's my friend. Even when he got revived, he's like, well, I don't feel like I make connections with anyone. Dude, you got bought back. Doesn't that count for something? Because the number, number 17 didn't have to bring anybody back. He could have been sailing with his family, said, you know, forget the other universes. I want my selfish wish. I, you know, I'm the last man standing or android. I'm just kidding man standing but yeah i'm like okay number 17 made this very and like um zero summer was going to intervene if there was a selfish wish the one clause i wish they would have did and i don't know if bear not bears i don't know if zero summer would have let this ride the one clause i wish that number 17 would have said when he made that wish i wish for the universes to come back but 
I wish also for Zero Summer to never be able to erase them with his powers. That would have been a great insurance clause there, since Beerus Sama is childlike and unstable. Anyway, yeah, this really sets it up for the movie. So now we know where that other Saiyan's coming from. It's coming from most likely another universe. And this also clears up where Goku can kind of not destroy other universes while fighting. But it's still hard, even though he still has that godlike power. The one thing that bugs me though, Goku can't use Ultra Instinct anymore. It was a fluke. But the other thing that bugs me, can Vegeta still use his Limit Breaker? If so, by default, he's more powerful than Goku since Goku can't access Ultra Instinct anymore. It really clears up the thing that everyone's been saying on the internet. Oh, Goku has surpassed Beerus. No, he hasn't. He's back. Not where he started. He's still strong as hell due to being put through hell in the Tournament of Power. Same thing with Vegeta. But the thing that bugs me a little bit, we know Goku can't use Ultra Instinct anymore, at least not right now. Maybe way in the future or in the not too distant future. But can Vegeta still use his Limit Breaker? If so, he's more powerful than Goku. It's just as simple as that. Anyway, I'm taking a deep breath over here. Yeah, this is, you know, it, it cleared up a lot of plot holes. I mean, 17 made an unselfish wish. Goku can't use Ultra Instinct anymore. So I can see how something can be a threat, especially if it's as strong as Jiren. Whatever he's fighting in this movie. Well, we know what he's fighting. He's fighting another Saiyan. But if the Saiyan is strong as Jiren, then yeah, kind of poses a threat there. So, this is where Dragon Ball Super goes from here. You know, universes with unknown creatures on it and unknown Saiyans. So, I wonder where this Saiyan comes from. Does it come from planet Sedona? Or did the wish actually bring back that Yamoshi character? And he looks like he's going at it in, within some isolated place. Because battling within the Earth grounds would probably destroy the whole planet. I'm wondering how they're going to balance this. I said they balance a lot of things, but I wonder how they're going to balance this. Or did they forget that when Goku battles in his god form, he has the potential to destroy universes. Or the universe that they're in, not necessarily universes, which would mean more than one universe. I don't know if clashing in one universe actually affects other universes as well. I doubt it with the ripples and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, some of the writing is still shoddy, but I'm very satisfied with this au revoir or this adios and farewell and see Goku hopefully in not too distant future. Hopefully they animate a new series within next year or the year after. If I don't see it within then, it's probably going to take 10 or 20 years before we see Dragon Ball again. And I know we don't all want to see Dragon Ball again when we're all on our freaking walkers. <laughs> Using our canes to get to the television like, move, Goku's coming in. I remember this from 20 years ago. Anyway, yeah, this was, this was good. I couldn't have wrote it better myself in regards to the conclusion. Number 17 got to do what he wanted to do. You know, everyone went back to their you know, different places and the other Saiyans on planet Sedona are cocky and want to reach Super Saiyan 3. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this conclusion. I thought it was good. Uh, Juren still kind of a, eh, okay person. But he felt a little bit of, um, he felt kind of bad when he was getting erased, I guess. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Hopefully this is not the last that we see a jerk, but I think he really needs to change his personality just a tad because it's kind of eh. Anyway, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button and let you know when I come up with new videos. Thank you for watching, guys. You rock. Now, since Dragon Ball is all raw, I got to figure out another anime to watch. So if you guys or girls have any suggestions, I shouldn't say guys or girls because you're probably grown people watching but if you have any suggestions on another anime i should focus on leave it in the comment section below take care peace and adios signing out farewell
Woo! <laughs>